Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a docker image using a docker file. So in the last video the method I showed you was to create a docker image out of a container but that method is not very scalable or repeatable and is actually prone to errors. So that is good for when you're testing something but when you want to actually deploy on a large scale and want to create images uh, that you can do in a repeatable manner right so uh, using a docker file is the preferred method all right so docker file is basically nothing it's just a text file uh, which contains some instruction on how to create an image and it's declarative in nature that is that it declares the final state of that image right it does not goes and basically define step by step method how to create an image it just uh, something like you say terraform terraform is declarative right so you just define your final state of your infrastructure and everything is then taken care by the terraform similarly in the docker file you just define the final state of your image and the docker build command basically takes care of that so now let's go to our console and see how we can create a, a docker file so basically I'll just go, I'll create a sample docker file and then step by step I'll go and explain each uh, instruction in that particular file. All right. So that will be, I think, easy to understand. All right. So let's go to our console and see a docker file. So now I'm on my console. Let's just first do docker images to see how many images we have. All right, so we have all these images. Now what I'm going to show you is a sample Docker file which I wrote. So this Docker file, you can see it's just nothing. It just has few instructions like from, run, copy, entry point, CMD. So I'll be explaining all this, right? And what we are going to do is we are going to use a command called Docker build to build an image out of this, right? Okay, so let's go one by one from the top and see what each instruction does. So from instruction or from statement basically is the starting point for your image and it uh, it basically defines uh, the base image for your image, right? So in this case, my base image, what I've chosen is, is a CentOS 6.8 image. So I want to start with this particular image and build on top of it, right? So n and one more thing so every instruction in a docker file is a layer right so uh, the best as a best best practice you would want to reduce the number of layers so like you see i have multiple run statements right so this run statement would create a layer on top of this base image and this run statement would create another uh, layer on top of this right so what i could have done is i could have put these two commands in a single line so we'll talk about that when we'll talk about optimizing your uh, docker images uh, for now we are not doing that run is basically used to run any command while creating your image so if you see that i have passed, used this run instruction and then passed it uh, a command right so what i'm doing is i'm using yum install telnet and yum install ip utils which basically installs ping for me right so this basically so when this image would be built i would have telnet package and the ping package already in that particular image all right now coming to the next statement again i'm running a command so basically i'm executing a shell command and what i'm doing is i'm creating a root app or slash app directory right so this would what it would do is it would create a slash app directory in the image already next is the copy command so copy command is basically used to copy something from your local system onto the image so what i'm doing is i'm copying a sample.txt file from my local system into this directory which i just created here right all right so coming to entry point and cmd so the these are actually different i mean very interesting and different instructions technically speaking there's not much difference or a very thin line of difference between entry point and cmd and probably you wouldn't even bother about that right but i should tell you what's the difference 
so with cmd uh, you basically define with cmd and entry point both you basically define the container command so the command which would be executed when this container would run right so like you know that every container inside every container we just run one particular process so entry point and cmd both define that process but with cmd you can always override the parameters and the command but with entry point you cannot override that particular command right so if you see i have defined an entry point and the command i have used is ping so nobody would be over uh, would be able to override this ping but i uh, in the cmd if you see i have defined some parameters and anybody can override these parameters uh, when you run the container so i'll show you an example when we'll build an image out of it right so that would actually make it very clear all right so this is the uh, simple docker file which we have so let's build an image out of it uh, before that i'll tell you uh, along with copy we have a statement called add so add is similar to copy but with add you can actually uh, fetch remote files from like something from a remote url and you can also untar files right and there's a statement called work dir as well so work dir if you use a work dir that defines the your context directory so once you define a work dir anything you do after that in your docker file the context directory is basically treated treated as the work dir so i haven't used that in my docker file so i just thought because there are many other instructions uh, in a docker file which i haven't used so probably it's a good idea if you go and do some exploration i have actually used whatever the core or the 99 percent of time you will see these statements so those statements i've used in my docker file all right so now let's build a docker file so to build a docker file we are going to do docker build and we are going to give this a name say my centos so my centos is very creative all right and the context is the dot so my docker file is in the current directory that is why i'm just giving it the current directory and enter so you can see it has started the build process and it's going to take some time because it's going to install few packages firstly it's going to fetch this image then install this package and do all this stuff right so i'll pause the video and come back once this is done all right so you can see that my docker build has finished my image is built so let me clear the screen and do a docker image so you can see my centos image is built 16 seconds back and this is the size so now what i'm going to do is first i'm going to run and container out of it my centos and let's see what it does so you can see this was the default command ping and i passed a few parameters using cmd right so now what if i want to override the parameters so i told you that with cmd you can always override so what i'm going to do is docker run my centos and i'm going to pass the parameter hyphen c5 and we are going to do 8.8.8.8 so this time it should ping five time instead of three So you can see I override I overrode the three number of count basically so to from three to five and it pinged that particular DNS five times. All right, but I cannot override the ping command itself because that command I defined using an entry point right now to get and th that is because I and that is why I can't even get into the container because every time if I try to do docker run hyphen dit my centos and say bin bash or bin sh let me sorry not this yeah and now if I try to do docker exec hyphen it and let's get this bin sh so i won't be able to do that because that container exited out so if i do a docker ps hyphen a so you can see that container 
it ran this command and then it exited out so how to basically override the entry point so to do that we have a parameter called hyphen hyphen entry point which can actually override the entry point as well all right so let's do that so this is basically the command to override the entry point you can see so i'm doing a docker run hyphen it and this is the parameter which i'm defining entry point and instead of ping this time i'm giving it a shell bin sh and then my image name so let's run this and you can see i'm in, inside my container right so now if i do ls hyphen l i would have an app directory right so if i go inside the app directory and do an ls you see i have a sample.txt file so all this thing all this stuff we did when we were when we were building our image right so yeah so i think this is what i wanted to show you guys uh, how to build an image out of a docker file uh, there are a lot of other instruction in docker file i would probably suggest you to i mean either go to the docker documentation uh, that's pretty good or you can just google docker file how to create a docker file or instructions of docker file and you would probably get on google a lot bunch of stuff uh, because there are a lot of other uh, uh, instructions which i haven't told you because if i go into detail of each instruction that would probably make this video of an hour or so which i don't want so i wanted to cover the core instructions of a docker file like from that defines your base image run running any command in while building an image uh, then what we covered was copy and then cmd and entry point so one of the interview question actually comes is the difference between cmd and ent entry point so they both are used to define the container command just keep that in mind but with cmd you can always override the parameters but with entry point you cannot right so it's as simple as that all right so this is it for this video guys uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching